Hello everyone, my name is River Sump and welcome if you're new. Um, I gotta be honest with you, this is my second time building this house. Um, the first time I really didn't know what I wanted to do, so I tried my best and just kind of went with it. Um, but this time it definitely turned out better. So I wanted to build a honeymoon kind of house for my Sims. Um, if you are new here, I'm doing a regs to riches on my channel and my sims have been engaged for the longest time but have yet to get married so I wanted to make something special for them and give them like a vacation getaway um, so we are building it in the jungle adventures world and we are going with a nice little vacation rental so I started out with the roof. I kind of had an inspo pick, but I didn't follow it exact. Um, so I'm just kind of playing it by ear, trying to figure out how to get the roofing down. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but I struggle so much with roofing in The Sims. I don't know what it is, but I just can never seem to get it right. So. I'm actually gonna crop this out a little bit because it took me a long time to do. So there we go, got to it. We got both sides put on there. Now for the back, I wanted to go at a different angle. So I added more of like a different slant and then fixed the front of the roof um, and then just kind of continued on with that patio. And I'm not gonna lie, this piece also took me absolutely forever so I just, cut it right out you're welcome um <laughs> so i went through fixed all of the little pieces and uh, i think it's looking good now i wanted to go with the jungle adventure roof to make it kind of blend in with the rest of the surroundings and i think it looks pretty cute um for the trim i ended up going with the brown that kind of matches that trimming around the house um and then i put in stairs um that are a nice um i guess stone to match the jungle adventure stone I also put some trim around just to give it a bit more color and I think it's looking really good. Now for the actual house itself, I didn't really know what to do. I kind of wanted to go with the growing together wood, but I wasn't sure if I just wanted to do the roof like peaks or if I wanted to do the whole house. So I looked around a little bit, but spoiler alert, I just decided to do the whole house in that um, color. I, I don't know I just think it gives it texture and it's fun and I, I haven't used it yet so I'm actually really happy I decided to go with that and then I changed the roof color to match better for the door I ended up going with um, this I guess it's like an orangey colored door and then I added some stair or I guess it's a railing from the stairs um, and then I was gonna add a little peek but I didn't love the way that one was standing so I ended up turning on move objects and just kind of raised it and lowered it to where I wanted it and I think it turned out pretty well you can see me kind of messing around with it a bit there but yeah, I think it's kind of cute. I don't know. I've never really used anything like that. So let me know if you like it or if I was supposed to use it in a different way. I also added some shelves to it too. I don't know if I do that now or later, um, but I think it really gave it that extra touch it kind of needed. Um, yeah, here's me adding the shelves. Like, look at how cute those are. I think they're adorable. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty proud of how they look. I uh, had to raise them up so it fit better since I changed that around. But yeah, I'm just kind of <laughs> taking a good look at it. Um, for the columns, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with these kind of blue green. So I don't know. But they were the most colorful ones out of them. So I just decided to go with them. I added some windows on the front and on that little kind of side cut place and then fixed the trim so it goes all the way around now if this is your first time here I kind of go through create a floor plan so that's gonna be the bathroom and then that's gonna be the bedroom 
So if you're new to my channel, I just place furniture in there so I don't forget. I very much have ADHD, so I'm a little all over the place, as you might be able to tell throughout this um, kind of playthrough, I guess. Um, more of a speed build, I don't even know. Um, so there you go, bathtub and a bed. And then I found this little chair, I don't know, it goes outside. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's going to be the living room. So I just kind of threw some stuff in there and then uh, figured out what kind of color I want to go with, which is, I think, that brown. Um, there's so many different colors in this pack, though. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with the orange or the brown. I ended up picking the brown. I, I just love it. Um, for the walls, there's so many fun colored walls. Um, and, you know, I'm not really a very adventurous person. So I ended up picking a blue and white one for the bedroom, blue tile, and then this kind of like cream, blue, and um, orange colored walls for the main area. I think it kind of ties all the colors together nicely. And I do go around and kind of elevate it. There's a wallpaper that's a bit higher. Um, so you'll see me kind of change that and before you ask, I did remember a garbage can. So round of applause for me for that. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty awful at remembering them. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the Jungle Adventure um, sink or if I wanted to just use a regular one. I ended up sticking with the Jungle Adventure one and then added in a little island um, with of course some cute little bar stools. I ended up going with these brown and orange ones to kind of tie in the orange accents. Now I went around and added in some upper cabinets. I didn't love how that end one was looking, so I ended up kind of swapping it around a little bit like that. Um, I think it looks well, and then I centered the windows. So I added in like a little, um, I guess it's a vent for the stove, and I found this one that matches perfectly because the pack didn't end up coming with one. Um, now, if you know me, I love putting windows by the sink. It's just kind of my thing at this point. Um, I just love it, and none of them really fit well, so I ended up adding in this little window that's not really a window. I don't know. I think it looks all right. Um, and then I wanted a little dining room table and the ones from this pack are just so big. So I ended up putting it in the corner with two little chairs. So hopefully it'll work okay. Um, I found this little treasure chest. So I stuck that outside in that weird little nook and then placed some fruit on the table. Um, keep in mind, this is a rental property, so I'm trying to make it kind of like appealing, like it would be a renter's kind of thing. So um, just kind of adding some fun little snacks around. Um, for the bedroom, you can see me trying to match the color of the bed to one of them, and none of them would match. How annoying is that? So I ended up actually picking a lighter wood. I know it's orange right now, but I actually ended up going with like that cream that's in the coffee table. Um, you can see me kind of playing around with that there. And then for the night tables, I also went with the cream. I wanted to bring in some of those colors. And if you can't tell on the top, it matches the coffee table. So it's got those same shades of like orange, which I think worked out perfectly. I also changed the bed to match. So it's got more of those yellows and the creams and the kind of uh, neutral toned brown. Um, I think it looks good. I don't know. I added some plants. I added a window and then I also added um, a window to the bathroom. I was going to do an open one, but I thought it was kind of weird. Um, and I moved it to the side of the lot because I wanted to put a door going to like an outdoor patio section so we could have like a pool over there. Um, I don't know, I think it's kind of a cool concept. Um, so there we go, toilets in, moved the door over a little bit, actually put it back and changed the spot of the sink so the bathtub could be nice and centered. Um, I also added in like a little towel rack, um, some toilet paper, um, and like, I don't know, just some soap supplies, stuff like that. Um, you can see me kind of playing around with them, but I thought they would probably provide like a few soaps, um, a bath rug, and you know, some towels, obviously. And then there's a little bench with, um, I don't know, some nice spa stuff. 
Um, I, don't, I thought it was really cute. <laughs> um, there's the plant. Um, I am obsessed with plants, so I will put them anywhere as I can. There isn't an actual jungle adventure mirror. I mean, there is, but it's that giant one in the bedroom. Um, so I threw a little one that I thought matched nicely with it and then put some cute little pictures around. Like, how well do those match? Um, I don't know. I thought they were cute. <laughs> Um, I was going to put this giant one under the bathtub, but it just kind of looked a little weird. Um, so I swapped it out for this orange one and then actually ended up putting that other one under the dining room table. Um, you can see me also add some to the kitchen and this is where I decided that circle one would work perfectly because it cut through the sides of the house with the square ones, but this one just fits so nice. So I added a few plants. Um, um, to the living room anyone surprised I hope not at this point um, and then went through with some more of those um, pictures that I used in the bathroom just in a different um, kind of picture frame um, and then I really liked the way that kind of tree looked I know it's from the vampire pack so sorry if you don't have that um, but it just seemed to match the vibes. I went and added some paper towels, some spoons. If you didn't know, you can move the counter and I'll place them on and then just slide the counter back it's just so you can put it where you want so it doesn't slot to the counter. I also added like a nice little beach vacation pack and some fun little things um, like a cute little um, a welcoming basket I guess um, it's also got a flirty ambience um, on it so that'll be nice for a honeymoon um, there's a sinks uh, sinks the soaps going in um, and then I put some cute little candles on the nightstand and then I added some more posters to the bedroom just to give it a little bit of a fun touch um, since I haven't uh, gone through that. And I think it looks really cute. It's like a villa, I guess. Um, and then some ancient kind of map pictures. So that way if you're going exploring, it might map out the parks. I don't know. It's it's just something fun that I like to kind of think of. Um, I There we go. Garbage can is in. I nailed it this time. Um, I don't think I had an outside garbage can though, so don't get too mad at me. Um, but yeah, I think it's looking good. There's that little side step I was talking about. I ended up adding like a little patio onto it. Um, and then this is where the pool is going to go. So you can see me kind of playing around with how big I want it to be and uh, funny me put it on the second floor. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm new to this. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I think it's cute. I added the same brick that is on the patio around the pool and then added this cute little pool trim um, from the Jungle Adventure Pack with those same blues, oranges, and I don't know, just matching rock color. I added some algae and some, um, what are they called, lily pads, and then put these fountains on as well as some pool lights. I don't know, just to give it some fun stuff. I wasn't sure how it was going to look, so I played around with the um, lighting there for a minute. I added some trees to the property, and they're so big. Who knew these trees were giant? Um, so I added a few smaller ones, and I think it's looking really good. Obviously, I need to add some landscape, so here's some plants out front, and I'm just kind of all placing them to fit a bit better, and then I found these these like um, bushes I guess and I placed those around but they were like clipping to the foundation so they would be floating and I couldn't get it to not do that along the side so I ended up just kind of placing it over here and then a little along the back making sure it wasn't floating and then I added some long grass, um, some, uh, I forget what they're called, but um, around the trees as well as some flowers. I think they're ferns. Um, and then I added another one of those bushes with the, more of the jungle like actual flowers and then some of course rocks now I wanted to find the rocks that matched over there kind of like those shiny metal looking rocks rather than just the basic base game ones um, so I typed in my debug cheats and started searching 
If you've ever looked through debug, there is so much going on. <laughs> I actually filtered by jungle adventure, added in an architect table, a picnic table, and then was thinking about putting some vines in there, but didn't. Um, I also found this little basket. So I added that and actually ended up putting like waterfall in a basket in it and like some bug repellent and I don't know just some fun stuff that you'll need for the jungle um, I also found these antique plates and put them above the counter which I thought was such a cute touch as well as this little frog um, I did have to move the counters because they kept trying to slot to them but I think it's a really cute touch and it was worth the extra couple minutes and here are my shiny metallic rocks <laughs> so I placed those just randomly around and and then added a little book from the jungle and here's me placing in some of those bug repellents and the waterfall in the bottle I also added in a machete raised it up um, so that way you know we have one for if we want to go exploring um, I did end up posting um, the video to this um, on Wednesday so speed builds probably gonna go up on Saturday um, sorry if that kind of bugs you a little bit um but yeah if you want to check out the rags to riches you can see a little sneak peek of it and then um hop on over here for kind of the full extent tour kind of thing of it um but yeah i'm really happy with how this uh ended up turning out um you can see me just kind of searching through for some stuff i did go through and change some of the lighting as well as well as added that grill outside so if you want to kind of sit outside on the picnic table we can definitely do that um, I also added a little pathway but I didn't like the way it was looking so I kind of mixed these two together to give it more of like a natural look um, and yeah you can see me thinking about a pathway but not doing it I also added some dirt around the flowers the plants um, just kind of the stuff to give it some more texture the house um, you know normal dirty stuff around <laughs> the pool um, but yeah, I actually had a lot of fun building this. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Um, but yeah, here we are kind of getting into the final touches. So I think it turned out really, really well. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.